Hello everybody. Today I am going to uh, today I am going to discuss about how to implement register startup script and register client script block. Actually, they have a big difference between them, and uh, they have a different use. So, so generally we saw that if you want to implement JavaScript code in your web application, then you can use uh, both functions. So let's see that uh, what's the difference between those functions and how to use those functions. Let's see. First of all, I am going to describe you that how to I how I use register startup script. The main difference between register startup script uh, is that that whenever you are using register start script function, then this function will render before the closing forum tag but if you are using the register client script block then it will use uh, or you can say that uh, this function or its function will render after the forum tag and the use of them is that that whenever you want to try to call a inline code or inline javascript function then you, you will use register startup script but if you are interested to call uh, or if you are interested to write function of JavaScript in code behind, then you should use register start script block. Let's see how we can do this. First of all, I am going to take a button control. In this button control, I will call a function of register start up script. I am taking another button where I will call register client side client script block sorry block so these are two methods actually these methods are used when you want to call a javascript function by server side control then you will use both functions so first of all I want to tell you about register startup script I am going to write a function in inline code this is a javascript function so to write a javascript function you have to write code in this manner type like javascript right so register client side or I'm calling call a function this is my user defined function this is not a system defined function and then function I will show a alert message alert this is example of register start up script Okay, so how I can call this? You have to write a, a class that is a client script dot uh, register. You can get a method from here register startup script. This is my method. In this method, I can put some fashions like uh, type so type uh, there is no need to write a type we have a method get type which will get the type of your script then string key and string script so we have another method also like uh, you have a string key string key you can pass any key this is my key one and uh, after that string script so here I will call my javascript function to call a javascript function you have to write code in this manner javascript call and uh, my function name my function name is call a function so I have to put my function name over here okay so after that we will add a script tag 
so I will make it true right so let's see the output that it is calling or not in browser So at page load event, I want to see you, the page source, there is no any function of JavaScript. This is my function which is I already embedded. So as I told you, if you are using a register, start of a script. So a script will add before the closing forum tag, it means the script should become over here. If I click on this, this is example of register start of a script it means this button call the client side function so now I want to see the function then you will find my register start of a script has been registered on this place call a function so if you want to call a JavaScript function which is embedded in your inline code then you will use register startup script so I'm going to show you that how I can use the register client script block so you can add a text actually I want to use a string builder that's why I embedded it string builder I can pass empty string and sv dot append sorry I want to append the javascript code over here str append and you can use script language equals to javascript and this javascript I will call alert function alert and message here hello this is register client script block then str.append this javascript code should be close script right here we go so now I have implemented register client side script block now I have to embed it with the client script client script dot register client side register client script block right so there are some methods you have to put type or you can use this constructor I want to use this constructor so you have to write get type method then comma string key key will be key 2 this is the key value by which uh, ASP.NET source can identify this script then script so what's a what script should come here that is str str dot to string okay finally we can see the output you can see the page source there is no any function of register client script block if you click on this button now you can see the page source here we go as I told you that if you are using register client script block then it will register after the forum tag right after the forum tag it has been implemented somehow after you can say that uh, after the view state variable it will be display but if you are using the register startup script then it will show at the bottom 
closing of forum tag so uh, the big question is that uh, where to use register client script block and where to use register startup script it's a uh, it's not a big deal uh, if you want that uh, you, you have already written the function in inline code then you will use register startup script what if you want to implement your javascript code or if you want to write the javascript code at code behind then you should use register client script block thanks for watching this video